sponsor is cocaine. <laughs> okay, enough of Miami 1984 partying. Let's get to unboxing some cool stuff. We're back here with Grateful 42. What I just we... got back from the eye doctor edition. <laughs> Yay. So you can barely see what he's doing. So I can't see what I'm doing and my eyes are straight black. <laughs> we got we got a tiny box today. Just a small one. Today's gonna be today's gonna be fun. We're gonna do some PC maintenance and some PC upgrade. Let's slice my wrist open. Yeah, you might not want to do that. I've heard from experience it's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Oh goody, oh goody goody goody. Today we have fans. fans. Oh, there we go. And a bunch of stuff. What are these? Let's take a look there at them. There we go. These are some Corsair SP120 high performance fans. 35 these, dBA. There yes. you go. These are high static pressure fans. You know, so these are meant to move a lot of air, from what yeah, I can tell. They're meant to move air through tight spaces. These are designed ah, for radiators. Okay. I see. Well, of course, there does make those radiators, so... Yep. Well, that's not where they're going. Mm -mm. We are going to install a push-pull system on my graphics card. I'm sure some of you remember this huge box. Yeah. The Radeon R9 295X2. We'll get some glory shots of it in a bit. Yes. This is, this is basically going to be hardware porn. <laughs> <laughs> So, this is what we're doing today, fans. I know fans aren't exciting, but we'll make it exciting. Damn it. We always try. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so here's here's the computer. I don't know if we filmed this last time, but it has, it it has, has a nice monitor now. Yes. A 144 hertz Philips monitor. I love it. Got those it of you might steel. remember, those of you might remember that I used to have this keyboard. And the screen works. Whee! Yeah, because I installed the drivers for it. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't because I didn't care. <laughs> oh, that's blue. That's that. Uh, that's blue. It is a very blue screen. Oh it look! Look, important stuff is happening. Look at these graphs. So the reason I'm upgrading these fans and doing a PC maintenance day is right here. The temperature is thermal throttling. I, I am experiencing the thermal throttle at max load, and that shouldn't really be happening in a basement with a heat pump. Yeah. So, we're gonna pump. Water pump. swap the stuff. Also, because of circumstances, I had to mount the radiator with thumb screws. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Extra toollessness. Yeah, it's a toolless case now. <laughs> Here we have the dust regime. I have tried to cable manage to the best of my abilities, but daisy chaining is still running rampant because fans. Yes, fans. I can't really hide any of these connectors behind because these don't have long enough cables, and I it's just you could extend it, I guess, eventually. But I want to deal with it. the The next upgrade will probably be a bigger case. Yeah, you when might that need happens. That. But that's not for probably another year or two. Yeah. But we'll pull out the card, demount the H100i, and do a radiator clean. And we will make big dust clouds, I'm sure. Big dust clouds. Yeah, this is this is why I think I'm getting thermal throttled. I haven't cleaned Ew. the radiator ever. Ew. So it's dirty. We're gonna we're gonna give it a bath, not literally. Don't worry. Uh. <laughs> Thermal throttle problem discovered. Yeah. Time to clean. It's pretty disgusting. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I honestly don't know why I didn't clean it sooner. Okay, so we're uh, we're just deep. yeah. We're just assembling one of the radiators. This Look is, at that. That's just ah uh, uh, man. Yeah, this hasn't been this has not been properly cleaned since it was installed, and I I hold myself one hundred percent accountable for this. <laughs> Literally since we did a video about it. <laughs> but um, like it's it's been dusted out, but not like not field stripped. 
feel but. stripped. Look at that. That's yeah. that's. Yeah. So this is this is the H100i. Don't bother buying a HEPA filter. Just buy a radiator and put it in a computer. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> uh, this is where, like, for my intakes, I would love to see a commercial product where the intake is one of those uh, ionic filters. Oh, the ionic breeze. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that way, the dust gets stopped at the intake and not in the case. You have that to clean that filter amazing. like every week, though. Yeah, but that would be. Maintenance versus field stripping. Yeah, that's true. I I, I would do it. <laughs> All right. Well, we're we're gonna make we're gonna make dust clouds now. get it? I don't know. <laughs> I was just standing and I got the slinky. Okay. <laughs> uh. Wow. Oh, God. Anyway. Well, we're close, gang. We're getting we're there. We're getting there. Minor distractions aside. One thing I can tell you is the new fans. They come with different color bands. And, of course, we have Red and black to go with more red, red and black. black. <laughs> it's the Darth. It's the Darth Maul color scheme, <laughs> like big time. <laughs> I, I think I just might have a thing for red and black. I I really yeah, I don't even, know. Yeah. I don't even I don't the screwdriver, know. the mouse, my the pliers. Even even my candy is red and black. <laughs> I think I have a problem, guys. <laughs> You better get that taken care of. I earned this. That's right, you deserve a candy. Ah, we're back up and running, folks. We are online. Take a look at that background. Look at how pretty that is. That's <laughs> nice. That's real nice. That's real nice. <laughs> So, so what have we done? We have MSI Afterburner coming up. This is not under load, but before this, it was idling at like 45 and 50. So it was that's definitely... For, that's for both GPUs right it there. Was, yeah. It was definitely being throttled by the, the sheer amount of dust blocking the radiator. Maybe you can actually hear the airflow if I put the camera in front of it. <laughs> it's a lot of airflow, man. <laughs> If it you is. look at this, it looks not unlike a Hyper 212 Plus with both fans on it. That push-pull actually looks better. It looks symmetrical. Yes. I which like I really it. like. I like it, and it's... Yeah, it's really... It's really moving air. We can... Uh, As you can see, we haven't put any of the... Uh, yeah, we haven't done anything fancy yet, but we're... Yeah, look at that. It's... We're moving... Well, kind of. We're moving... We're moving some air. It's a, moving a decent amount. The main thing is, though, this is not volume. This is specifically for static pressure. It's designed for use with the radiators. So yes. There we go. Uh, we can do a... So what can we do? Should we launch that? I, I, can, I can turn on... Should we turn, turn the mining mine, thing? I can turn on my mining and we can see what happens when we put both GPUs under full load. Yeah, let's try that and see what the temperature's like. So. I figure it'll be where it was at idle or where was it under load last time we were looking at it? No idea. I think it was, because the mining stuff was on. So I'll... It's just a view of the system. It has still has the XFX 850 watt. 
How crazy was the wattage on this CPU again? 200 something? Oh, the TDP for the yeah. CPU? Yeah. It's 230, two, 230. 230 watt chip. That thing's crazy. Yeah, the specific reason for the, for the case was because the back panel cools the back yeah. panel cools the the back of the CPU. It cool it cools the, back the, whole, the, board, the, whole, the whole bracket. Yeah, the whole bracket gets cooled. And all the little transistors underneath. Okay. All right. So now we have one GPU. And we have one GPU under load. Soon to be under full load. Well, one of them is temperatures. Oh, the temperatures creep. Oh, there we go. We have GPU two now under full load. And we'll them. this will definitely this will definitely get up there. GPU two looks like it is getting yeah, hotter. You can get a straighter shot if you want. GPU two two. G GPU two looks as though it's getting a little bit hotter. It's definitely creeping up, but it's still staying fairly. Yeah, forty seven. It's still pretty, uh... Stable. Oh my yeah. god, it's stable. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, let me turn the other one on. That's pretty stable. Let's try it again. Did I ever mention how much I love heat pumps? Water pumps? All-in-ones are heat pumps. They pump heat from the heat source to out. Just, I love heat pumps. <laughs> Now both GPUs are running at 100% load. My power limit for the card is minus 10%. And I have them slightly underclocked, but this is this is good. Oh my god, they're 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 kind of sitting stable. No, they're going up still. This is a very slow curve though. It it the air's getting hotter out of the back. Oh, definitely. But before before the cleaning, they would already be thermal throttled. This is a very significant improvement. And that's all from just a cleaning. A cleaning and the upgraded fans. And these fans, I'm going too. To, I'm going to put 50% cleaning, 50% to the to these new fans. Yeah, this, this definitely is going to help, because it's just faster cooling. Plain and simple. Hmm... More optimal cooling. Optimal, I yeah, word. I guess. Cooling designed for this application. Well, the air that's coming out is actually... Well, the air that's going in is actually coming from somewhere rather than just the one fan doing the whole job. But, uh, last time, it was one fan here, so it was blowing air from so, the case through. So it was just blowing and it was resisting right. against that. Yes, the resistance okay. was coming from the radiator's grid. So with this fan, it actually pulls that yes. loose air out more. Yes. Yeah. So we have we have not only are we pulling the air out, we have optimized fans. So yeah, that's what you want. Let's look at the thermal saturation curve. It's creeping up to sixty. Are we stable at sixty? It might. Yeah, it's looking pop like to it. sixty-one, but. It might hop oh up one or God. two, but that's not too bad. Nope, oh, 61. 61. It might creep up to 65 after an hour or something. But Still? No, that's not too this bad. This is For a GPU, that's really cold. Amazing. <laughs> I'm happy now. For a GPU, that's really cold. Like, really cold. And already, I'm seeing improvements on performance. To me, a mine much faster. Uh, yeah, look how fast that is. This this GPU would always sit at 24 and drop down to 19 mega hashes, and now it's sitting at 24 and going to 30. I lost the scroll bar for the other one. There you are. Come on. There we are. This one was always performing better, but now it's performing much better. It's performing about the same as the other one, actually. That's what you want. Yep. Perfect. In ten minutes, we can see what it's doing. Okay. 
Oh, we're up to 62, but it's flatlining. It would stay. I would be very surprised if this just <laughs> stops it. I would not be very surprised if this just stops at 65. That's what I was going to say. Until I start thermally saturating the room. Yeah, because the room's nice and cool now, it'll be fine. Yeah. But for, like I've been saying, for for GPUs, that's really cold. So you're doing just fine. I'm doing great now. Yeah. Considering before, it would it would already for, it would already be hitting the thermal limit, and then thermal throttling. Yeah. Within a minute of me doing this, so this is. One hundred percent better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's because it couldn't really get the heat out. Yes. Well. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. It was it was too dusty. Yeah. And the new fans. I really, really like them. They're good. I think the new fans will keep it this way for a longer time, too. That's what I hope. Yeah, that way hopefully the dust won't be as much of an issue. The dust is a problem just because of the room. I really need to get some type of filter for the room. Yeah, I get like a little HEPA filter thing. Yep, 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 yep. I could use one of those myself, actually, <laughs> because the little ionic breeze I have doesn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, it works, but it's, it, it's a bigger room than that can handle. Oh, 63. 63. See, yeah, is, it's, this it's, is good. It's I'm, probably going to stay in the 60s, gonna, I would imagine. I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this stable. My prediction is it's going to stay in the 60s, more than likely. And we're still getting... What I don't understand is I, I tell... I have, I have an MSI afterburner, GPU clock, set to 916, and I guess it just wants to turbo up. Maybe it has a certain setting for that in the card itself somewhere. I don't know. I'll okay. figure it out. That's more troubleshooting for a later time. Yeah. Like right now, that doesn't matter too much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's working. Whatever. You know. There we go. I'll consider this a successful cleaning and modification operation. Not the most uh, exciting thing in the world, but... I think it's exciting. <laughs> well, for, well, for, me. Well, for te well, the temperature part was, but... <laughs> But actually, like, cleaning the fans and junk, that was... We, we tried to make it funny, but, you know. Whatever, you know. Not a fan of cleaning fans? Mmm. <laughs> ah. uh. Well, that is a maintenance and upgrade video for Grave of 42's gaming rig. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and have a good one, everybody. Cleaning fans blows. Ciao. <laughs>